hey this is a warning the tutorial you're about to watch it's very simple so stick around if you want to learn it so guys in this short tutorial the short simple tutorial on earth i'm going to be showing you how you can dynamically change the title tab text and youtube youtube had this functionality back then these days i think they upgraded their systems but when a user clicks like the play button this tab will show that now playing so that whenever even if a, a user goes to the next tab he or she will know the page which is playing so that's what you're going to be confirming or programming when he clicks pause and they will say media pause so such text to change dy dynamically it's what i'm going to be showing you as you have seen i'm on team tube that's the website we are going to be programming so when i refresh all that stuff will be gone and i'll start with my button so guys if i'm going to leave the link in the description below showing you how you can dynamically create video controls using javascript so you can apply this on javascript like when you're playing a video and such stuff happens so i'm going to leave the link in the description below and i'm going to call this play when i refresh i'm having a button here called play let me also create another button and i'm going to call this pause cool so far that's it but right now they don't have that functionality of creating some dynamic changes on a web page now imagine maybe at the top here you may be having a video playing such doing such stuff that's the only stuff we need in our html and we want to create a an event whenever a user clicks it we want that event to be fired off or the function you can say on click whoa on click so on click we are going to fire off a function called text tab put those parentheses and we want this to appear in the text so that's the argument we are going to pass on and we want ampersand hash 9000 9654 so this is the icon for play some icon for play and we shall say now playing so that's the text we want to be we want to be displayed in this now let's go and create a function or javascript function for that here we shall say script we shall open the script tags I want you guys to see this properly i don't want it to confuse you so we shall write a function and when i press a function you you will see that this shows you even gives you some tips like here you write the function name and our function name is the text tab so i write text tab and they are telling you the argument remember the argument is here that is the text we want to display then we put the argument it's going to be text now the body of that function will be here and it's going to be simple just say document dot title document dot title equals text so that's the only stuff you need for javascript how simple it is let's save it and review it in our browser so when the user clicks this you see now playing so this is the small icon you're seeing for like playing symbol so that's how youtube used to function back then whenever a user clicks play you see now playing when you go on another tab you know it's the tab playing that media the same applies to the pause button the pause button we are going to carry this let me say this up to here whoa <laughs> we are just going to copy this ctrl c on your keyboard and paste and we are going to change only the text here media paused 
save are you seeing media paused now playing media paused now playing media pause now playing so guys the exercise i'm going to give you go and look for the html entity for the symbol of pause i've given you for the symbol of playing now your exercise is to find out the html entity for this pause button please make sure you do that homework and let me know in the comments below when you get that html entity for the symbol of paused i guess that's it maybe for the some tips like in case you want to be showing now playing but with the title or the name of the website we are just going to concatenate the statement we shall say team team tube we put the plus sign like concatenation simple we concatenate them and say now playing team tube now playing you can space here to leave that extra gap in the middle are you seeing team tube now playing so the same stuff you can put on the pause button so that's the functionality on how you can dynamically change the text in the title tab i guess i'll see you in the next tutorial please subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials how simple it was look at the javascript you needed to write it's one two two lines and <laughs> extra for the closing curly brackets so guys that was very simple for you guys i'm going to leave the link in the description below and you see how you can create custom controls for your video where you can add such functionality on your website Please click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next tutorials. Click the button.